first half. Very impressed. Couldn't wait to see the second half. Second half, I'm like, couldn't wait for it to end. Dull, boring. Allowed Ireland back into the game. Too many of the players in the first half that played well. And you know, There's loads of them. Trent, brilliant first half. Second half, way off it. All of them, second half, not good enough. But I want to go to Kane. And you were saying something to me, Gemma, throughout the game. Tell, in fact, you just tell everyone what you were saying to me throughout the game. Um, well, obviously, watching him and seeing him, for one, he was dropping far too deep. He must have been told to do that. Must no, but if he, he's not being told to do that. Mm. If you watch Kane play throughout his years, that's what he does. He likes dropping deep. He likes getting on the ball. He likes to try and somehow make those... We've seen it happen, make those great passes to, to start an attack. And it leaves his beer up front. He's got to be more like Haaland minded now because he's not the same Harry Kane. He hasn't got the legs. He's not as sharp as he used to. You want him in the box. Is, not... his, is his position under threat in your eyes? Abs absolutely. I just think now. Another two years. That's mm. another two years on the mi on, mm. on the mileage clock. That's mm -hmm. on his body. He's going to be what thirty three. Yeah. So he's not. He's, he's not going to get sharper. He's only going to slowly decline. So come to the World Cup. I don't want that as our main man taking us into the World Cup. Yeah, a lot of people felt that maybe that, that had, was something he, he, that he lacked in, in, up front. He, he didn't yeah, have a he, shot on target no, against no. Republic of Ireland. Let's go and speak to Aidan, who's a Manchester City fan. Aidan, good evening. Welcome to the show. Hi, are you all right? I'm all right, matey. Good. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, about work at the moment. Right. What are you doing? What's work? I, I'm, I'm an old delivery driver. Right, okay. Did you, did you watch the game or did you listen on TalkSport? I listened to the full game on TalkSport. Excellent work. Go on in. What, what do you want to say? Um, well, I just think, like, over the years watching England, I mean, I'm only young, I'm only 20, and just more just with Kane, like you were just saying then on the radio, I think he just needs to kind of, he needs to be weaned out of the, the club. Well, no, sorry, not the club, sorry, England. He needs wow. to be weaned out of England. Cause oh. He's waiting. When I watch him, he's so frustrating to, to watch because... There's times where he could go and tackle, like have that bit of energy and just burst out to a player that's literally running right in front of him. And he doesn't do it because he's lazy. Uh, I, I want to ask you something. Listen, we're, we're not we're not taking any... I think Harry Kane is an absolute legend and a, a great scorer, a great goal scorer for England and being a fantastic... So being a fantastic captain. I am not saying he's a bad player. He's an absolutely fantastic player throughout his time. I think it's coming to a point now where to, in two more years... He just is not going to get better. And I'm going to ask you a question, Aidan. When's the last time you've seen, not score a goal, but when's the last time you've seen Harry Kane have a fantastic or a good game for England? Uh, I'd say World Cup. You know, um, yeah, back when we were in the World Cup. That's a, that's a, that's a lot of games. That's yeah, a there's, lot of games there's, there's... gone <clears throat> without putting in a good performance. So I think now... Yeah. Like you said, I, I won't say not have him in the squad. You've got to have him in the squad because he, there is moments of magic where he can just, a ball yeah. come in and he, he, he knows the back of the net. But someone like uh, Ollie Watkins, who's quicker, sharper, you've seen him come on against... Um, yeah, in the final. In the, in the final. Yeah, against, he scored, he yeah, scored, he scored, scored the winner. The, in the, in the Senate, scored, yeah, 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 scored the goal. Yeah. That's We need players like that. Mm -hmm. you, you don't see uh, Ollie Watkins yeah, exactly. dropping at the edge of our no, box definitely. trying to pick up the so ball. It's totally, it's totally different. Watkins plays on the shoulder, but Watkins look at getting That's behind. what we need. Kane's different. Well, it'll be interesting. Listen, great point, Aidan. Thank you very much. A lot of people said that, Gemma, um, just after the Euros, in fact, during the Euros, that maybe Kane needs to be taken out. And credit to Southgate, he did, he did take him off. Mm. You know, he didn't. He, he, he recognised there needed to be something up top. And, uh, no, I'm just saying, but Watkins, he's not in the squad right now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There, we we're saw talking, Boeing come on. About, no, I'm just talking saw, about for the future. We saw Boeing come on, and he played that more central role. And, and who uh, else is there? Boeing, Watkins, Tony, but Tony. He's gone to Saudi, I don't and then, think he's and then you're get getting him. into Calvert Lewin territory. I mean, who is the next England striker? Who, other than Watkins, who is there? <sighs> there's, there's, <laughs> the top of my head, there, there isn't. There's not. There's not, not. Not who you can throw into the not, England international. World no. stage. No, you have to start playing players like a a, a pa Bowen, pa a Palmer. Palmer's played up there. Off the nine. But then you're not. Then you really are changing the way you play. You you absolutely are changing the way you play. 
And that's and that's. But, but Carsley won the championship with the twenty ones yeah. with no striker. He did, yeah. So Pal he knows. Palmer's evolved that, yeah. So he knows the the, the the style for that. Fair enough. Fair point. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. And what is the future for Kane? And looking for going into the Euros, sorry, going into the World Cup out of the Euros is Watkins the natural choice? Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four is the number. John, the Liverpool fan, has dialed. John, good evening. Hello, mate. Good uh, evening. How are you? Show. And uh, I just want to say, the top man, Jermaine Pennant. Yes! Yeah, yeah, see, Greeny, Greeny did you hear that, there mate? You go. Like, there you still go. Greeny. There we Cheers. go. Some Cheers, love for Jamma. Jamma get, yeah. gets loads of love in the office. After the Liverpool boys. And, um, I just want to say, I can't go for another another blinking manager like we had before. My God, you know, it's... It, it, the first half, I was excited about it. Yep. Great game. I thought we're attacking. Here we go. And then the second half, my God, it is absolutely rubbish. I mean, Christ. <laughs> Ireland is, is like 50, rated 50. We're rated fourth, I think. And I just think, Christ, I can't have another Southgate. Not another Southgate. It's only one game, John. Johnny, I, I have to say, second half, I was really disappointed in. I felt that there's yeah. that that was below what we, we should do, but it's oh, like, we're not we're not going to we should have won about five nil. Yeah, we're not going to you're not going to slaughter him now, right? It's one game. I know it is, but you it, can just it's... see the old Southgate coming out, mate. I mean, he, he put two blokes on there, and you just think he's just trying to please everybody, isn't he? Oh, I'm good, you know, it, it just winds me up. I mean, oh, you know, Southgate, he, he, he should we an idiot could have run that team. Honestly, I, 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 I don't know. John, go, he's the greatest blinking manager there is, or whatever, and he hasn't lost. But crying out loud, I'd rather go down fighting. I really wouldn't lose. John, you, know? you, said, you said that Ireland are ranked 50. We played Slovenia who are ranked 52. Um, yeah. And we almost lost to them. We, 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 yeah. had to, we almost lost. Yeah. We had to uh, a Jude Bellingham absolute masterclass. Yeah. And... We had three shots on target, a total of seven. This, you know, yeah. against Ireland, we've, they've had 24%, we've had five clear um, chances, nine attempts on target, 16 total. It's a, I know the first half was good and maybe the second half went as great, but this it's, it's night and day from Gareth Southgate. There's so, it's so much to look forward to, knowing that the players that... We've got f five key players also out. So you think about if they were back, the, the players that may have not started or would have came on and could have given it a bit more lift and a bit more a bit more energy. You know, we've got B Bellingham out, Foden. There's Watkins who's not in the squad. There's Cole Palmer. Yeah, how, many so times we, how many times have we seen Cole Palmer come on in, in 25 minutes and the games change? So yeah, the, like, oh, well, every time, but they should have put Kyle, Kyle Palmer on. They should start him. He's, he's I know, but he, he's, he's he's injured. He's not very well. He's, he's pulled out. Either. But we're just yeah, saying, yeah, like yeah. second half, the players we've brought on, we've got Angel Gomez and, and, and Eze and, and Gibbs White, who's made a, fir a first appearance. I, I, I didn't. I didn't think they'd done very well. To be honest with you, it, I, I don't know why he put him on. He, yeah, he's, he's, it wasn't. He's it wasn't pretty, the first yeah, half, but yeah. it's not. He had to change. Team. He had to change something. Because thanks for the call, Johnny. Yeah, John. yeah, yeah the, the game was flat. It was flat. But was in no flat. danger, no, was it? No, no, I don't think danger is the right word. But thanks all. But I just come away. Just, you know, you're watching it and you're thinking, this is a game that we have got our t in total control, and we've just allowed Ireland. To I felt the better side. And I, no, I felt they were. had a couple like like oh, sniffs, and one one shot on goal. Mm. But you see, you, you see Manchester City beat Ipswich four one. They go in half time three one. You're expecting the second half to be six one because they're battling the first half. They didn't score three or four goals. They only got the one in the last last two minutes. It, it, it happens. Some some teams just come out mm. fighting mm. the second mm. half. I don't know. I, can't, I just felt a little bit... In the... uh, let's go and speak to Paul, who is a Leicester fan. Can we get him up for us? Let's go and speak to Paul. Is he there? There he is. All right. There he is. All there right, Paul. Is. How are you doing? Yeah just, yeah, just a couple of things. It's not about the... Let's say all England man at the end of the day. And it's not mm. really about that. I just find it... Um, the obviously Kane had the injury, didn't he, at the back end to Bayern Munich? Yes, he did. He yes, he did. Yes, he and he's did, gone yeah. in to a tournament and played seven games in 28 days. Now, can you imagine that happening here over the Christmas period? They wouldn't even entertain it. And my question is, my you know, so England fans listen all the intricate play and stuff like that. They can accept that when it goes wrong because they don't really understand it. All the fine details of the play. 
But what they can see is somebody who isn't fit, and that's the thing. And I think it builds up there, and thinking to play against Spain, where you know, wherever you think he was being carried, we played with ten men, and I found it really frustrating. And even sent him out for the second half of fifteen minutes, like he'd got a little twinge. I found that, and I'm thinking that press conference this week with Lee Carsby and Harry Kane. I'm thinking, I wish one of the reporters had said, if you're not right, Harry or whatever, will you be honest with the Lee, you know, the interim manager, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Do you understand what I mean? I, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so in the World Cup, Kane's going to be, what, 33. Are you going to be happy? Is, OK, let's just, for, for, for argument's sake, he's fully fit. Come the World Cup, would you want him starting as our number nine? If he's, if he's right, though, because... They, Two years added right, on to his mileage. He's, he's, he's a great bro. He's a great person. But, you know, sometimes I think you've got to be big and say he could have took himself out there and say, I'm not right, Gaffer, in the quarterfinals or the semis. It was, ob- it was obvious. I know he got two or three goals, but the chances that's, of him... That's, that's gone now. That, yeah, got, but, but, but let's, try let's try and look forward. So in two years' time, he's fit. Not, yeah, Would you like him yeah, as to be the main guy? If he's... If he's, if he's not necessarily because two years is a long way up in it, America, but you've just got to be, he's got to be honest as the day is wrong because that's the only way you're going to get when the chip league cards or anybody else I think we've got to be honest honest and that's well, it yeah well listen thanks to the call it, it, it's the question is fine Harry Kane is going to be 33 in the next World Cup he's still got a lot to offer you know, I'm not writing him off yet Absolutely. by any stretch of the imagination. His role today, I I have to believe that Carsley wanted him and didn't mind him dropping deep. I don't mind that as long as someone fills the space. When you come into what's an area which was quite congested anyway, someone's got... Stir- who done it really well? There was a couple of games at Wembley under Southgate in, in, in the early part where Kane would drop and Sterling would go into the space and we would get in behind teams time mm. and time again. You need that threat you need Grealish to perhaps who was playing that 10 role today. You need him to be the threat. Mm. In I, I saw Saka many times trying to remember that run from, from on, on the right where they go across in yeah. front of the fullback and dart in behind. A couple of runs wasn't found. And this is where I'm going to cut Kazi Slack. He might look at that and feel, do you know what? I, I don't want Kane dropping into this area because when Bellingham is fit, when Cole is fit, Cole Palmer, when Foden is fit, you would have thought that those players, that creative midfielder there, he's got choices there, they would want to occupy that space. Mm. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.